Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today. We're working on racing the Prestige Cup with the Alfa Romero 8C Spider. All right. We're on race number 19. This one is a 0 to 100 race. So this is the very last 0 to 100, I believe. So pay attention to how fast your car needs to go. Let's find out. All right. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. And, you know, I've got a video all about how to drive this car. You know, I do a review on it, talk about some tuning advice and all kinds of good stuff. So, it looks like you have to do 0 to 100 in less than 4.9. All right. That guy did 4.949. I did 3.170. So, not too bad at all. All right. Guys, check out my car review playlist if you want to figure out how to drive different cars and stuff like that. This car is actually really easy to drive. Now, I do have quite a few stage six parts on it, but I don't have all the fusions installed. I figure, you know what, next time I have an Alfa Romero and I need to put fusions into it, I want to save some for that. So I always try not to upgrade these Prestige Cup cars more than I have to. So if I get stuck and I can't make it, then yeah, I might go ahead and install some more of those. But uh, right now, I'm going to try and make it through this without installing all of the fusions that I own. I hate to blow through those and not have them for next time I need them. This is a really good live racing car. All right. And for live racing, this doesn't need upgraded any more than it currently is. Actually, I might want to slow this down a little bit. I might want to try and tune this down so it's a 12.0 car. I try to use cars around 12.0 on my Sunday live streams where, you know, I let you guys try to find me in the live racing lobby because most people have a car that can tune, tune to around 12.0. I know not everybody has the really fast cars. All right, here we go. Yeah, I really like this car though. I will say that much. I like this one a lot. It's just really nice, really easy to drive. It does very well. Some people don't like the way the car, this car looks, but man, it's a nice car. Nice car, 11.2. I don't know what the dyno time is, but I know it destroys the dyno. It's it's way faster than whatever the dyno is. So I bet it's on like a 12.0 something dyno. I might be wrong. I don't know. I'd have to look, but. I know this car beats Dino by like, I think three tenths of a second or something like that. All right, here we go. 182 miles per hour, all right? So this speed trap is 182. We beat 182, no problem. What are we on now? We're on race number 23. We hit 221, not bad, not bad. I can always tune this car to hit some more top speed if I needed to. So let's just say if we hit another speed trap and I get stuck, I can probably tune it without installing more parts. Just need to move the final drive a little more to the left, and that would probably boost the top speed a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't get stuck. I really don't want to put those other parts on there. All right, here we go. Go, little car, go, little car, go. Go, little car, go, little car, go. Yeah, we got him. We got him good, too. All right. We destroyed that guy. Destroyed. All right, so here comes race number 24 out of 30. Always make sure you do that 31st race, though. All right? That will get you onto the leaderboards, even if you're really slow. Still do that last race because you'll win at least a couple keys or something. You'll get something out of it. If you don't do that last race, you're going to miss out on a couple of prizes. And as we all know, every prize in the game counts, guys. Every prize in the game counts. So try and do as much as you can as far as things that give out prizes. Yeah, this is very, very nice. I'll say that one. I don't really like the way the car looks, honestly. I think it's kind of goofy looking, but hey, I'll take it. A good live car is a good live car. All right, there we got race number 25, or we're about to do 25, I should say. All right, we got a pink part, two pink parts. 
nice that's one of the things i love about about the prestige cup is it does give out parts and it gives out lots of respect points so you can't complain about that guys that's why i always tell everybody save your keys for a few seasons save up at least 2,000 keys i mean if you play daily and you grind like most people do if you grind enough every day you should be able to save up like 2,000 keys in three or four seasons and after that, that's when you start pulling for the Prestige Cup cards, all right? If you don't have any keys saved up, that is not a good thing. All right, on some of my playlists, probably on the CSR2 Basics playlist, and probably the Guide Slash Tutorial playlist as, all, as well, I got some videos all about key management, you know, how to save resources, what to spend your keys on, what not to spend them on, when to spend them, all that good stuff. So we just got, just got a really big chunk of respect points right there. That's why I really love these Prestige Cups, though. I mean, you can get, as long as you get the Prestige Cup car and make it fast enough to beat their Prestige Cup, you can get 600, 700,000 plus respect points without doing a live race or a showdown if you want it to. So these things will earn you huge respect points, guys. So it's very important to save those keys because if you don't and you blow through all your keys every season, you're, gonna, you're always going to struggle to get the Prestige Cup cars, and you're going to have a harder time making the, the RP. Unless you're one of those guys that get on the game and you play for hours and hours and hours and hours. I burn myself out if I do that type of thing. But some guys, man, some guys will play for six, seven, eight hours a day on this game. And I don't know how they do it, but those guys can make the RP easy without the Prestige Cup car. But me, nah, it's a huge chunk of mine. You know, I can't, I can't play that much. One, two hours a day, that's about the most I can spend on this game without burning myself out. Same thing with most games. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing, you know? If you play too much, eventually you're going to get sick of it. I usually hit my 1.4 to 1.5 million respect points per season. And I don't really feel like I play all that much, you know? I pop on for 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, half an hour there, as I got time throughout the day. Yeah, I bet I bet every day I pop on five, six, seven times a day just to run a couple races when I got the time. And it works out great for me. Works out really good, actually. All right, where are we at? Race number... Uh, race number... I don't know what one we're on. We'll find out after this, all right? I was paying too much attention to talking and not really paying attention to what I was doing there. So, all right, let's go, little car. Go, little car. Go, little car. Go, go, little car. Go, little car. Go. But yeah, I definitely encourage y'all to go check out my playlist where I cover pretty much everything in the game. So much good information there, especially if you're a new player or something like that. All right, here comes race number 29. Here comes number 29. They gave us a transmission. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that transmission or not. Hopefully, that wasn't a duplicate. I'll probably throw it on the car whether I need it or not. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe tune something. I'm going to try to tune this to a 12.0 car and see if I can run, run it without beating the dyno. Maybe I can make this a good live racer. For my Sunday streams. I like to make my cars not beat Dino for live. If you can find a car that will win without beating Dino. That's great. Because it won't keep getting pushed into the faster lobby. So. I love cars that will beat. Not, our, not all cars can do that though guys. Not all cars can do that. Right. You can, you can get some cars to do it. But not every car. So here comes the last race. So whatever this guy runs, this is about what you're going to see as far as the final time goes. All right. What's he going to run? What's he going to run? Now, it's always a little bit different from ever, for everybody. Let's just say you get beat. Go back to your garage. Come back out to the map. Race it again. And you'll get a different car that runs a different time. So every time you go back to the garage and come back, it changes cars. So... You just never know. And there's always one really slow car on the game. There, there's always one guy that runs way slower than everybody else. And if you get him, 
it's pretty easy to win. It might take you a tank or two or three tanks of gas, honestly. All right, so that guy ran 11.858. So I'm gonna guess you're probably gonna see, you're probably gonna see 11.6. No, no, 11 11.7s, 11 11.8s, and 11.9s. Like I said, every time you get a different car, it runs a different time, but it should be within a tenth of a second faster or slower than this one. So somewhere in that range, guys. It should be somewhere in that range. So I think that wraps this video up. All right. You got to see the speed traps, the sprint races, and the final time on this video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification if you want to see all my uploads. I try to upload helpful stuff almost daily. Sometimes I miss a day here or there. But, uh, yep, catch you all later. Thanks for watching. You all have a great day. See ya.